Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cecia, Daisy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Talib. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marilyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Grecia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Diego. How are you doing, guys? Are you doing okay? Are you doing great? I'm working fine, teacher. Okay, great, great. Well, uh, right now it's raining around here. What about in your places? Is it raining? How's the weather? Raining too. Okay, okay. So let's be prepared for the electricity, right? Any a power cut will be ready, <laughs> okay? So yeah, or the internet connection, so. But if that, if that happens, please, um, uh, try again and try again, okay? Insist and try again to get connected because the, the attendance score is taken by the minutes connected, okay? So let me take the attendance. I'm going to start tonight. Welcome everybody to your class. This is your class number seven. And we have a lot of things to do tonight too. And we have a new topic for tonight. So let me get the attendance to start. Okay. Today is Friday the 8th. Okay, it's the last day of the week here. Good. It's day of, day of class of this week. Okay. So let's get ready. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Cecia Gemima Perez Cideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Okay. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present teacher. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher, present. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Mélida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Presente. Okay, Patricia. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Presente. Ok, then. I will say welcome again. Welcome everybody to your seventh class from this module. Let's remember we are in module two and now we are studying uh, unit two. Okay, Melida, I'm going to check you in, okay, in the call roll. Just give me one second and I'm going to do Melida. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we are going to start now with this <clears throat> new class.
as always, we have to um, do a short feedback and we're gonna start for that. Just let me introduce the new talk, okay? So here we are. Our topic for tonight is how to use imperatives, imperatives. Okay, here we are. How to use imperatives. This is very important. We are always, always, or giving orders or instructions or get, um, agreeing or disagreeing with someone, okay? We are giving advice. We are always, always giving our opinion and saying someone what to do if something happens. So we use imperatives to all of these uses or these usages, okay? Let me go to the goal for tonight. Our objective is that you will be able to identify and use imperatives. You have to identify and also we are going to try to use them. This is very important because we don't want to seem so grumpy or Mandones, okay, we don't want to seem like that, right? Um, so we are going to see how to be um, in a good mood or in a good way of saying or using the imperatives. The agenda for tonight, the agenda. We are going to have feedback about the frequency adverbs. It's almost uh, half of the class, we are going to take enough time to study the frequency adverbs and practice. And we are having some activities of conversation and practice of conversations, play roles in the breakout rooms. Also, we are going to start with the imperatives tonight. Okay, we are going to see how to use them. The session one on one for tonight is Eva's turn, okay? Eva Leticia is el turno de ahora para la sesión uno a uno. I hope she get connected tonight. Si ella no se conecta, entonces la tendremos a uh, disponible ese espacio, ¿verdad? Para quien quiera hacerlo. Esperemos que sí se conecte. Okay? Okay, let's start with our feedback. This is mandatory in our INSAFOR classes. So we want to do this um, activity first. Okay, do you read, what does it say in the slide? What does it say on, the, on your screens? ¿Qué dice? What does it say? See, Alba, do you want to read these two words, please? Can you read it? I don't know if Alba, Alba is hearing. Alba, are you there? Can you hear me? I get you. Okay, can you please read these two words? Uh, Laser 
activities. Okay, thank you very much. Nestor, how does, uh, what does it say in the slide? Can you read it, please? And it's, what does it, what, uh, what is the meaning in Spanish? Or... No, just reading it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, leisure activities. Okay, good, thank you very much. Roxana, what does it say here? Can you read this, please? Leisure activities. Okay, let's see. Daisy, please read here. Uh, leisure activities. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, yes, that's the correct pronunciation, guys. Daisy said leisure, okay? Leisure activities or activities, right? Leisure activities. Cuando nosotros nos preguntan, cuando nosotros nos preguntan, what do you do in your free time? Okay. What do you do in your free time? They go say like this. Okay. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? A ver, a ver, ¿quién recuerda las actividades que vimos ayer que hacemos cuando no estamos trabajando? A ver. The activities. I sometimes go to the beach. Great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What other activity did we see yesterday? Do you remember? I often play soccer on weekend. Great. We, yes, yes. With my friends Excellent. and my brother. And... Excellent. Mm -hmm. What do you do in your free time, Maida? I go in the park. Okay, I go to the park, okay? Yeah. I go to the park, excellent. Cecia, what do you do in your free time? I do read a book. Okay, I read a book. I read a book. Okay, great. What do you do in your free time, Marco? Uh, in my free time, I play football, soccer, or okay. football, soccer. Um, I like watch TV. Especially, okay. uh, how do you say? Especialmente, especialmente, especially, especially, yes, uh, especially, especially football, football. <laughs> okay, it's so crazy. you prefer playing soccer? Yes, yes. Okay, good, 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 good. So if you see, you are using a lot of the vocabulary here and it's very important, okay? It's very important. If you see an activity is a verb and a complement, right? For example, here it says, go to the beach, uh, play soccer, um, go to the park, read a book, play soccer, watch TV. Okay, so yes, those are the leisure activities. Um, so we could say others, right? 
like go shopping. Yeah. Otra de las que teníamos ayer. A ver quién las recuerda. Usually go to the gym on Sunday. Okay. Good. So yes, these are leisure activities and the frequency, the how frequently you do these activities. Okay, so. Yes, thank you very much for participating with this, okay? I see that you got the content. We're going to the next one, okay? Do you have any question about leisure activities? Do you have any question? Questions. Uh-huh, tell me. No questions. Okay, we're going to the next one. Just one moment. Okay. Okay, Linda. So we're going to erase this and we go to the next activity. In your page 20, I think it is, page 20 in your manuals. Okay, page 20 in your manuals. So let's think about a regular week, a normal week, okay? Regular week in your days, your life, okay? So we need to focus what are the activities uh, that you do in a regular week. Okay, let's try with one, two, three, four, and five activities. Now, everybody, let's take two, uh, I'm sorry, three minutes. I said like this, right? Did you see? <laughs> take two minutes. No, no, no. Take three minutes to think about five activities that you usually do or that you do in your regular week, okay? But have in your mind that you have to think about two things that hardly ever or never do, okay? Let's try, everybody thinking. Si se entiende lo que van a hacer? tienen una pregunta. Five activities. Okay. You think about five activities. Cinco actividades that you do in a regular week. Okay. In your life. In your work. In your house. Okay. Pueden incluir también leisure activities.
If you have any question, please tell me. Let me know. Teacher, mm -hmm. how, how do you say sobrinos? Ne, uh, it depends. Do you have uh, sobrinos mujeres or sobrinos varones? Okay. You say eh, bar, varones. Okay. Yeah. If they are male, they are nephew. Nephews. Okay. One. Nephew, two, three, four, five, six nep nephews. Okay. okay, thanks. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, it doesn't matter that if I write activities about my my job or my free time. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. In this case, you have to just think about five activities on a regular week, for example, in your job, leisure activities, maybe in, in university where you study or in your house. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, people, let's see. Let's look at this activity. Now you are going to share with us, okay? You are going to tell us your five things, okay? I always, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, I never, okay? Ready? ¿Quieren que los diga por nombre o quieren empezar? Yo, teacher, yo, yo, va, yo primero, teacher. Ok. ¿Cómo okay. quieren? Go ahead, Néstor. Ok. I always, I always study English. Um, I always uh, use uh, an app from my cell phone uh, to practice things uh, in the morning and, and at, uh, in the afternoon. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So you said two activities. Okay, great. Let's see, Daisy, yes, yes. please. Uh, I said that I was not going to say names, but I just wanted to hear Daisy. <laughs> Go ahead, Daisy. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, practice. I... <laughs> okay. Los están animando, Néstor. Participen, chicos. Yeah. Uh, okay, there you are, Daisy. Start, okay. start. Démeles el ejemplo. I always <laughs> check my email. I often prepare the reports for taxes. I sometimes prefer the coffee in my job. I hardly ever visit my relatives. I never drone in the park. I, I never? Correct. Okay. Uh, I never. Okay. I never go run. Oh, go for a run. Okay. Running. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, la actividad ayer eh, la tomamos tal como le dijo la compañera, pero y así lo dejé, verdad? Porque pues 
estamos comenzando, pero es go for a run, ok? Go for a run, eso es salir a correr, ok? Go for a run, y si no es que corre, entonces jog, ok? O for a jogging, yeah? Así, a trotar, ¿verdad? Suavecito. But it is a run, they must uh, come in. Okay, thank you. Who wants to participate? Let's see. I'm seeing over there people. Hey, come on. Solo uno, solo uno. Vaya, vaya, no, 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 no se aglomeren, no se aglomeren. Mire, se traba la máquina. Le puede Después de COVID se hace aglomeración. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh my God. Okay, Cecia, you want, I see in your face that you want to participate. Go ahead, okay. Cecia. Okay, teacher. I always get up 6 a.m. I often listen news in the morning. I sometimes play my nephew twist twice a month. I hardly ever do exercise. Okay. I never get, get up 4 a.m. Okay. Uh, Cezia, do you mind to repeat uh, the first activity you said? Because uh, you said the time that you get up, right? I get up. Mm -hmm. I always. I, I always get up 6 a.m. Ahí siempre cuando decimos la hora específica ponemos at, ¿ok? Cuando vamos a decir la hora, siempre, siempre ponemos at, ¿ok? Ok, yes. At 6 a.m. Ok, y la siguiente, ¿cuál era? Which one was the next one? About... I often uh -huh. listen news in the morning. Ok, I always... Listen, vamos a usar ahí y póngale cuidado, esa es la frase así, listen to the news, ok, 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 listen to the news, mm -hmm. ok, every morning, right, or in the morning, in the morning, ok, and what was the other one, I, oh, I often, no, I, I sometimes, I sometimes uh -huh. play my nephew. Okay, play Toy. with, play uh, okay. with my, my okay. Okay. My mm. nephews. My nephews twice a month. Okay, I sometimes play with my nephews twice a month. A month. Great. And the last one about hardly ever. I hardly ever do exercise. Okay. Uh -huh. Esta do exercise también se puede llamar workout. Okay. okay. I okay. hardly ever work out. Okay. I okay. hardly ever work out. Eso significa eh, entrenamiento, ¿verdad? Ejercicio de entrenamiento, así como eh, del gimnasio, ¿verdad? Okay. O de algún I, deporte, right? Uh -huh. I hardly okay. ever exercise. Work out. Yes. Work out. Bye. Yes. Uh -huh. And the never one, it was very interesting. I, uh -huh. I never get up uh -huh. for EM. Okay, ahí otra vez. At uh -huh. 4 AM. E -M. Excellent. Excellent. You did a very good job. Okay. Solo tomemos en cuenta, ya para ponerlas así más bonitas, hay que ponerles estos adornitos que son bien importantes. No son tan adornos, son muy básicas. To the news, for example. Siempre que usamos, va, esto es para todos. El verbo listen, ok, después del verbo listen siempre decimos to. Listen to music, listen to you. Uh, listen to the TV, porque no la está mirando, solo la está escuchando, right? Uh, listen to. 
así sería eh, para conjugarlo en este caso, ¿verdad? Listen to y para referirnos a los noticieros o a las noticias, the news, the news. Ok, let's continue. Who wants to participate? I want to hear you all, guys. Ahorita lo borro este. Uh -huh. Who wants to participate? Yo, teacher. Thank you, Alba. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I always, always get up at 7 a.m. Excellent. Uh -huh. um, next, I often meet my friends. Excellent. It's okay. No mistakes. Good. No hay error. Excellent. Uh -huh. I sometimes go to the movies. Movies. To the movie. Excellent. Mm -hmm. hardly, hardly ever exercise. Okay. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? I hardly ever do. Ponemos do exercise or workout, right? Ahí puede ser esta o puede ser solo workout. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. um, ok. I never eat egg, eggplant. Este lo busqué uh -huh. porque no sabía okay. cómo se dice. Ajá. Eh, se llama berenjena. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. I never eat eggplant. Yes. Ok. Se las vamos a poner acá a todos. Eat eggplant. Ok. There you are, eggplant. Don't you like eggplant? Don't you like eating eggplant? Why? I love them with cheese and with cream. Yeah, I, I really like eggplants and they are very healthy food. Yeah, vegetables are healthy, okay? So eat your vegetables, guys. Okay, always eat your vegetables. <laughs> If you want to be healthy, then eat your vegetables. Okay, guys. Um, vamos a pasar a la siguiente actividad. Do you have any question about this activity? ¿Alguien quiere consultar algo acerca de la actividad? ¿De cómo hizo su actividad? Are we okay? Okay, now I'm going to show you a list of activities here. Here we have some activities. And in this activity, and this activity is from your manuals, okay? These activities from your manuals. And the important part here is that You are going to create a question using these activities, okay? Using these activities I have here. Estas son unas sugerencias de actividad, okay? Veamos las actividades que les he puesto acá. Have business lunches, okay? Es tener almuerzos de negocios, ¿verdad? Use They microwave, usar el microondas, right? Leave work late, cuando uno sale del trabajo tarde, salir tarde del trabajo. Leave work late. Y tenemos otra actividad, esta actividad es bien bonita, miren. Celebrate employees' birthday parties. Celebrate employees' birthday parties. Es bonito cuando sus compañeros de trabajo les celebran a uno su cumpleaños, ¿verdad? So, let's see the other. Go out with your co-workers. Go out with your co-workers. Salir a algún lugar que a cenar o 
uh, los que van a bailar, los que van a hacer alguna actividad de diversión eh, with your co-workers. Okay? Go out with your co-workers, con sus compañeros de trabajo. Now we have the last one, have trainings. Have trainings. Bien, ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer acá? We have to create a question. We have to create one, two, three, four, and five questions. You can use these activities to create them. Okay. ¿Cómo se forma la oración? Recordemos cómo se forma la oración. Perdón, la pregunta sería, how often do you, y ponen la actividad. Se cierra con el signo de interrogación. You close the question with the question mark. Ok, hagamos una, otro ejemplo. Aquí tenemos, how often do you have meetings? Ok, y entonces... Eh, le responde ahí, ¿verdad? Su compañerito o compañerita. Then, you have, or in this case, for example, we could say, how often do you have business lunches? Right? How often do you have business lunches? Right? Y así sucesivamente creamos las preguntas. Ok. Bien, nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Ok. Voy a dejar de compartir. Les voy a enviar este slide through the WhatsApp. Ok. Para que tengan ahí esas actividades. Y nos vamos a ir al breakout room a hacer. Ustedes le hacen la pregunta a su compañero, a su compañera. Y ellos tienen que responder, ¿verdad? Ellos tienen que responder con qué frecuencia, how frequently. ¿Qué es lo que van a usar para responder? Frequency adverbs. Los adverbios de frecuencia. Which ones are they? I always, I often, I sometimes. Okay. Or I never, right? So I'm going to create the groups to start. No vamos a tomar mucho tiempo para eso porque esto es nada más un repaso, ¿verdad? Solamente 10 minutos. ¿okay? Vamos a hacer los grupos de tres. Ok, más de uno quedará de dos. Perdón, de cuatro quedará uno. Okay. 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 Grupos de tres y un grupo de cuatro. Antes de irnos, ¿se entendió lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Más o menos, teacher. No sé si podría explicarme. Ok, Más ustedes, you are going to create the questions. And uh -huh. you have to do those questions. You have to uh interview your classmates with those questions okay? okay and you have to write the answer of your uh classmate okay okay and then you have to uh, then you will be sharing that here okay okay there you are si se entendió todos create questions uh -huh. Interview your classmates. Write your classmates' answers. Okay. Teacher, we can say classmate or partner, right? Or, or yes, we can say partner too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So there it goes.
David y Pablo. No los puedo dejar aquí, David y Pablo. Tienen que entrar a su sala. David y Pablo, por favor, entren a su sala. A, la, sí, a las preguntas que tenía en la slide. Mm, ya. Pero no lo. Teacher, lo estamos esperando la imagen. Yes, I see, I see. But the thing is, que miren, se ha quedado esto lento, pero ahí ya. Le voy a caer. Okay. Let me, let me, um, Maybe I can share the screen with you right here and you can screenshot, okay? You can do a screenshot. Porque no me abre la, la cosa esta. For some reason this is, ajá, uh -huh. es porque está abierto este otro. Ajá, uh ahí -huh. sí me entra. Se lo voy a poner como básico así nomás para que lo miren. Ok. ¿Le puede dar a screenshot ahí? Ok. Yes. Ok. ¿Ya lo tomaron? Sí. Y cree que me puede hacer favor de enviarlo por el chat, que a mí lo, iba, lo estaba haciendo en el momento, pero se cerró nuevamente el WhatsApp. Algo pasa. Vaya, voy a ver si se lo puedo compartir. Por favor. Thank you. Please do. Thank you. Ya lo puse. Ok, thank ah. you. Thank you. Y yo todavía aquí no me abre esto. No sé okay. a qué se debe realmente. ¿Será por la tormenta? I pues. Hope, I hope that is the reason. Ok, girls. What you have to do is to create the, the um, questions. You have to create questions with those activities or ideas. Ok, esas son ideas de lo que pueden crear las preguntas para pregun hacerle la pregunta a su compañera acá, ¿verdad? Y escriben, por eso dice ahí, name, escribe quién le está contestando, ¿verdad? La otra columna y la otra columna, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. No, I sometimes, I sometimes cook in my house. <laughs> Why not cook? <laughs> uh, no like cook. 
Ah, ok, 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 ok. Okay. I prefer, I prefer, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. It's a real case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, how often do you read a book? Um, I, um, I always read a book. Uh, my book is scientific book, chemistry book. Is do you like uh, uh, do you like scientific book? Yes. Yes. For example. For example, Remington chemistry. Oh. oh. <laughs> For example, okay. GSP, pharmacopoeia, GSP. Uh, for example, la, la, the pharmacopoeia, Britannic pharmacopoeia, is, is, is my job. Oh, oh. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, I am chemica pharmaceutica. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, chemica pharmaceutica? Pharmacic? Chemical. Chemical pharmaceutic. Chemical pharmaceutic. Yeah. Chemistry and pharmacy. Okay. Chemistry and pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That's the career. <laughs> okay. Um, come on. How often do you practice exercise in your week? I always practice exercise. Really? Yes. Uh, how do you say the only saca tiempo, teacher? At them, Pierre, I room in my. Uh, in my calle, what do you say, calle? Street? Yes, I, uh -huh, yes. Yeah. Then, um, for example, the weekly, I own um, at them, PM, uh, si quiero decir de 10 a 11. From 10 to 11. Okay. From from 10 to 11. From then uh, at 11. From 10 to okay. 11. To 11. 11. 11. Yes. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> it's really amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah, yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Now we want to hear about Marco. Can you ask some questions to Marco, please? How often do you listen music? Um, in my case, um, I always listen to music because it's my time of re relax, uh, my time of relax. Oh, yes, my time of re relax. <laughs> okay, time, it's my relaxing time or my relaxing activity. Ah, okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. Relaxing activity, okay, 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 okay. Uh, for, uh, how often do you do you go to the park or visit the mountain, beach, and park? <laughs> uh, in my case, um, um, I. Sometimes visit the beach or or 
mountain because my time is very uh, short for my job. Ah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, esclavo del trabajo? <laughs> Yes, yes, literally, literally. He is a workaholic. Yeah. Ah, okay. Workaholic. Okay. workaholic. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my time is very short for my job. <laughs> no, hey, no have vacation. <laughs> the, yes, because, uh, sorry, yes, but. I don't, how do you say, disfrutar? I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy because um, there are more things uh, to, to us. How do you say, hacer, teacher? Se me olvida la palabra. Do. Hacer. Do. Ah, ah, okay. Do, do. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like shores and your house, or I don't know. In my what... house, in uh, my okay. house, in a personal, personal things and university. Like doing errands, hacer mandados. Yes. My relationship <laughs> with my girlfriend. And... Okay, yeah. Now, now we understand why Patricia. It's because of that. Yeah, he's not a workaholic. No, no, no. <laughs> Yes. He's in love. He's in love. <laughs> yeah, now we know, Patricia. That is why he doesn't have enough time, okay? okay. Because his time is from her, or uh, for her, right? For yes. her. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. This is very interesting. Okay, continue. Okay. Continue. You are doing a great job. I'm going to another room, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. So... Okay, I see uh, the others aren't in yet. Okay, there they are. So let's start, let's start. <laughs> I want to hear opinions about the activity. Did you have any, I mean, do you have any question about what you did? Acerca de la actividad que hicieron? Any question? Question, no teacher. Okay, okay, but we want to listen to Marco and Patricia, okay? <laughs> yes, two questions, two answers, okay? There you are. Okay. Um, teacher, solo que vuelva a poner la pantalla porque no la copiamos bien. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really sorry. I don't know why this thing's still loading. Okay, so I'm going to share in a different way. Okay, just let me go here. Here we are. Oof, nope, you see? Okay, there it is. Okay, here we go. 
La idea era que hicieran preguntas de con qué frecuencia hacían alguna actividad sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Eh, como enviamos nada más, eh, creo que fue, permítanme, en el equipo de Mayra nos hicieron el favor de enviarles el screenshot porque no cargó el, eh, mi aplicación. Entonces la idea era que usaran estas actividades o actividades que ustedes eh, tenían en su vocabulario, ¿verdad? Okay, let's listen to um, Nest, um, I'm sorry, Marco and Patricia. Two questions, two answers. Uh, okay. Um, how often do you practice exercise in your week? <laughs> I always practice exercise. I, uh, uh, for example, uh, next class, next English class, I run, run, run in my street. Uh, one, one hour. One hour. Okay. One hour. Every one day. hour. Oh, okay. Uh, good, good, good. Next question, please. Uh, uh, question, how often do you listen music? Um, I always listen to music for, uh, for my relaxed time. Okay, it's my relaxing activity. Ah, relaxing activity. Huh? Okay, yeah, it I is my <laughs> relaxing activity. Good, good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now we want to listen to oh. Nestor and a classmate over there. Okay, ahí escoja con quién usted va a decir la pregunta de su equipo, right? Uh, two okay. questions. Okay, two questions, please. Okay, teacher. Um, Ceci and Alba. Okay, you choose which one is going to answer. Okay, first Ceci. Okay. Uh, how often do you use the microwave? I never use the microwave. Okay, now Alba. How often do you have break time? Your job. I hardly ever break time. Break time. Okay. I hardly ever. She have. hardly ever has break time in her okay. job. Good, Nestor. Alba, para responderlo, hay que hacer una oracioncita ahí, ¿verdad? I yes, yes. hardly ever have. Break time. Yes. Okay. Break time. I hardly ever have break time. Correct. Thank you very much. Okay, the next one, please, Nestor. Ask the question to your other classmate. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> that it was Mayra. You saw you, no, it wasn't Mayra. Yeah. No. Uh, Linda. Okay, Linda. You there, Linda? Okay. How often do you leave work late? Linda. Linda puso que no tiene audio ni. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see in the chat. Maybe okay. she answered. Oh, yeah. She said have no audio. Okay. 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 Uh, Mayra. No las tengo todas listas, pero hagamos el intento. No, yo voy a hacer la pregunta. That's the attitude. Yeah, come on, Mayra. You can do I'm it. I want to ask you a question, the question. Okay. How often do you leave work late? Um, I seldom uh, leave work late. Seldom. Okay, 
Okay, okay. good, okay. good. Okay. Very it. good. Great. You did a very good job, guys. Yes. Okay, now we have to pass to the next topic. Okay, the next topic is imperatives. Okay, imperatives. And well, we know what imperatives are in, in Spanish, right? Ya sabemos que un imperativo en, en español es como dar una orden, right? So we use imperatives just the same as the same as in the Spanish. For example, we use imperatives when we want to say commands or for commands, para dar ordenes, right? Uh, for giving instructions, for giving advice or prohibitions, okay? We use imperatives for commands, giving instructions, for advice or saying prohibitions, okay? Ahora, ¿cómo, cómo se escribe o cómo se estructura un imperativo? An imperative is really easy because you just say the verb and the action. Hasta el momento hemos aprendido las actividades, ¿sí? Y decimos, go to the park, go to the beach, go shopping. Esas son las actividades, ¿verdad? Pero si yo le pido a alguien que haga algo, ¿ok? No le voy a poner un sujeto, ¿verdad? Sino que le voy a decir directamente la acción, ¿ya? ¿sí? Que haga la acción, ¿ok? For example, aquí tengo algunas otras actividades, ¿verdad? Like, eat healthy, ¿verdad? Así como le dijimos por la eggplant, ¿verdad? Eat healthy, ¿ok? Come saludable, ¿ya? ¿sí? Probablemente me lo diga un doctor, ¿verdad? Probablemente me lo diga alguien que sí realice ejercicio y se cuida en su, en su comida, ¿verdad? Eat healthy. If you have a condition or a sickness, the doctor could tell you, eat healthy. Coma saludable. Let's see the other one. Be on time. Be on time. Hey, llegue a tiempo, hombre. ¿Verdad? Llegue a tiempo, okay? Be on time. Now, stay safe. Hey, cuídese, ¿verdad? Stay safe. Hey, cuídese. Eso se usa mucho ahora with the pandemic, con la pandemia, right? Stay safe. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Guarde su protocolo de seguridad, de bioseguridad, ¿verdad? What's the protocol? Use a mask. Use a mask. If you don't use a mask, then you cannot go uh, get in uh, the supermarket, for example. You need to use a mask. So they say, use a mask. Es un imperativo, right? Use a mask. Another imperative would be, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Let's see another. Keep two meters distance. Keep two meters distance. Okay. Y luego, pues, otras actividades, like, call me. Yeah. Call me. Llámeme, right? Call me. O su jefe, por ejemplo, le está dando una instrucción. Send the email. Send the emails. Por ejemplo, una invitación, ¿verdad? También acá puede ser, come to my party. Venga a mi fiesta, right? Come to my party. O por ejemplo, usted le hace a alguien, shh, así, ¿verdad? Shh, shh. Like, cállese. No, we, we don't say that, but in a very polite way, we could say, hey, be quiet. Okay, be quiet. Wait. If you can't hear, what someone is saying, maybe uh, you, he is just whispering or she is just whispering. Está hablando así bien suavecito. 
eh, o alguien tiene miedo de hablar, ¿verdad? Is afraid of speaking, then you say, speak louder. Speak louder. Hey, habla más fuerte vos. ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí tenemos the imperatives. Cuando nos ponemos a darle una instrucción a alguien o una orden a alguien, no queremos vernos mandones en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Y queremos hacerlo de una manera muy polite. No es malo dar instrucciones. Es necesario dar instrucciones. Es necessary to give instructions. Pero para eso utilizamos la palabra please. ¿Ok? Please. And I'm going to take this word over here. ¿Ok? And we are going to say. Please eat healthy. Okay. Please be on time. Please stay safe. Please use a mask. Please wash your hands. Podríamos utilizarlo también al final. Okay. Like eat healthy, please. Be on time, please. Stay safe, please. Okay. Are we okay with this? Do you have any question about the vocabulary or opinions about this? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, is it clear? Yes teacher. Yes, it is clear. Okay. Casi no hay cámaras encendidas. Eh, Necesito que por favor enciendan sus cámaras. Eh, estamos siendo auditados, así que por favor necesito que eh, es una de las cuestiones de observación que hemos tenido. Así que por favor encendamos sus, las cámaras eh, y ubiquémonos todos a participar. Queremos que se escuchen sus voces. Ok. Siempre cuidando el, el, el sonido ambiente, verdad? No nos no 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 solo abrirlos y con interrupción, ¿verdad? Ok. Bien. Let's remember, we use... Eh, eh, I'm Apaga sorry. tu sonido, ¿cómo se dice, el, eh, teacher? Porque sería como una, una parte así como de comando, ¿eh? algo así, no sé. Oh, yes. Turn off yeah. your mics. Turn off your mics. Lo puedo escribir acá, vamos a ver. Thank you, thank you. Like this, right? Like turn on your cameras, right? Cameras. Okay. And turn off your audios. Yeah. Or your audio. And also we could say close your mic. Okay. Close your mic. Close your mic. Yeah. Turn on your cameras, turn off your audio, close your mic. Yeah. Y lo mismo, el contrario, era open your mic. Yeah. And I will say, please, okay? Please do that. Yeah, I don't want to seem like a grumpy person, but I need everybody please to turn on your cameras. El requerimiento es para todos. Bien, vamos a continuar. We are going to continue with this, okay? And in our manuals, we have a short conversation, okay? We have a short conversation. And it's very important for us to practice the vocabulary that we um, have seen, okay? Que ya hemos visto. Esa es una de las cosas más importantes, usar el vocabulario que ya tenemos, okay? Vamos a ir a ver esa conversacioncita. I think it's page 22 or 21. 22, I think it is. Let me uh, stop sharing here. And I will do it again here. Yeah. 
Here we are. Okay. The instruction says, uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with the partners. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. And oh my God. Okay, could you please check your audios, guys? Someone said a bad word. They were swearing over there. Okay, please don't do that. Okay. Oh my God, it's really funny, but no, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, here we go. Marcia and Luke are talking, well, not talking, they are having a, a work relation there and someone is giving instructions and the other one is receiving the instructions, okay? So Marcia says, please send this package. Yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, they are like uh, sharing the activities they have to do. Okay, so please send this mess. I'm sorry, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here, here you go. Oh, and look, please, supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Vamos a leerlo un poquito más despacio. Yeah. Para que veamos pronunciaciones. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Teacher, I yes? have a question. Tell me. What is the mean package? Package, paquete. Package. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, and, uh, uh -huh. and mom is madam. Yes, oh. ma'am, así como está, es, uh -huh, es el, decimos el opuesto de sir. Okay. Ma'am okay. es señora. Ma'am. Mm -hmm. eh, sí proviene de ese francés, ¿verdad? Pero, pero. Eh, siempre lo va a ver así, escrito M-A con el apóstrofe M, ¿ok? Y se pronuncia M-A-M, M-A-M, ¿ok? M-A-M, M-A-M. No vamos a decir mom, porque entonces le está diciendo mamá, ¿ok? Vamos a decir M-A-M, como una E-A, M-A-M, señora. Pero esta es una expresión. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Es como cuando usted le responde a alguien. Yes, sir. Ok. Yes, sir. El contrario cuando está hablando con una mujer es yes, ma'am. Ok. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Correct. Okay. Now, let's listen to Cecia, please, and Roxana. Cecia is Marcia and Luke is Roxanne. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, my and do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Help me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. And, and look, please supervise the new item, interns. Absolutely. Okay, good, good, good. Package, okay? This is, y, y siéntanlo con confianza, decir ch at the end, okay? 
package, right? Package. Yes, package, package, package. Okay. I want to hear everyone saying package. 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 Yeah, package. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Con una okay. che al final, ¿verdad? Package. Package. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. I don't presiones que quiero ver, que quiero saber qué significa uh -huh, uh -huh. here you go es como aquí tienes yes correct uh -huh. and cuando dice oh and look uh -huh. y dice y allí qué quiere decir o digamos cuál es la serie la expresión no aquí lo que tiene que hacer son las pausas ¿Ok? Para poder entender qué es lo que dice. Por ejemplo, están ellos platicando, ¿verdad? Entonces, sure, here you go. Le da las stickers, right? Oh, and look, right? Uh, algo que se me olvida, ¿verdad? Oh, and look, uh, please supervise the new interns. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Es solo okay. como me, ya me acordé, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Yeah. Oh, sí, es cuando dice, y look. Oh, and look, look, right? Look, internos. Look es el inter... nombre de la otra persona. Sí, 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 exacto. O sea, cuando ella se acuerda de algo que le está pidiendo a Luke que haga, antes que se le olvide, así que, hey, y miramos, right? Something like that. Yeah. Sí, 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 yes. I got uh -huh. it. Interns son internos. Eh, sí, new interns son como los nuevos que va a capacitar, ¿verdad? O los nuevos empleados, los nuevos internos. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interns son como, eh, sí, practicantes. Yeah. Sí. Mm -hmm. Ok, okay. So, when, uh, solo tengan cuidado cuando dicen yes, ma'am. Okay. Es junto, es una expresión. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma como poniéndose a la orden y diciendo, basta bueno, pues, ¿verdad? Sí, claro, señora. ¿Ya? ¿Ya? Uh, los colombianos sí dicen, sí, señora. Dicen, right? But we, we don't have that expression sí, claro, in our claro, language. Claro, señor, teacher. Yeah, too. Como con esa misma expresión. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Si es su nombre al que usted le está diciendo que sí, right? O si es una mujer, su jefa, por ejemplo, usted le dice, yes, ma'am. Ok. Yes, ma'am. Ok. Now, we are going to listen to Nestor and Daisy, please. Go ahead. Role play the conversation. Ok, Daisy. You... Is that... oh. Yes, please. Yes, Daisy, you are Marcia and Nestor, look. Ok. Please send this back edge. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Man. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Okay, Marco and Patricia, please. <laughs> Marco is Luke and Patricia is Marcia. Okay, teacher. Um, please send this package. Yes, man. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. This wire. A memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please, supervisor, the new inters. Supervise the new inters. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, guys. So now we have to do this activity is to figure it out. Okay. It's like a comprehension thing. So we are going to 
answer and let's complete the commands. These are commands. Do you see? Send this package, write a memo, okay? So let's read here, complete the following commands. Use the conversation as a reference. Okay, number one. Number one, what is the verb that completes this phrase, this imperative? Please write. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That should be with a capital because it's at the beginning, but okay. Let's continue. Number two. Give. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, ya que decimos este, ayer, después cuando ya yo reviso el, el, el video, eh, no sé si se fijaron casi a la una de la mañana, pero lo puse ahí porque si no se me iba a olvidar y cabal, ya ven, ya se me estaba olvidando. Eh, me preguntó Néstor, cuando estábamos haciendo las, las respuestas eh, de del, la comprensión lectora de la, convers, de la conversación y estábamos hablando de las actividades que hacen los truck drivers, ¿ok? Realmente lo que yo pensé que me preguntó Néstor en ese momento fue que si estaba bien ese verbo con su significado, ¿ok? Que no otro verbo. Y yo le dije que sí, pero estaba equivocado, ¿ok? Porque yo puse they gives, ¿ok? Lo voy a escribir por acá para que así, yo puse así. No me fijé realmente, no me fijé y pensé en el significado de otro verbo. Todavía le dije, bueno, puede ser turn in, puede ser, tor uh, perdón, turn in, puede ser otro verbo. Pero no me fijé en el error eh, de spelling que estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se puede, they give. Es they give. Thank you, Nestor, for your observation yesterday. Pero hasta que vi el video... Caí con, en cuenta, ok, yeah, but thank you very much, thank you, <laughs> okay. ok, so now guys, let's continue here, number three, supervise, great, supervise, ok, supervise the new interns, good, good, ahora, si se fijan, Usamos please para no hacerlo así como una orden eh, mandona, ¿verdad? Una orden mandona. Miren acá, please send this package. Please write a memo, ¿ok? Miren, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Si se fijan, puede ser al principio o puede ser al final de la orden o de la instrucción, ¿verdad? Miren la siguiente, please supervise the new interns, okay? Does anybody have a question? No questions. No questions, okay. Guys, it's 9.26. Nobody told me about the attendance list and I have to take the, I mean, I have to call the roll three times during the class. So I'm going to take the attendance even though I'm going to do it at 10, okay? So please turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. So Alba Yanet Lopez Avalos, Cecia Gemima Perez Cideos, present. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. I said teacher, no podía quitar el mute. Okay. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present teacher. Okay. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Okay. Eh, Juan Diego López Palacios. Present. 
Juan Diego, are you there? Okay. Uh, Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Ah, sí, Linda tiene problema con el audio. Ok. Ahorita la chequeo. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Luz. No. Ok. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Ok. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Ok. Mélida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present, present okay. teacher. Ok. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Bien. We're going to continue here. Hasta el momento tienen alguna consulta? No, teacher. Ok. Bien, vamos a irnos al manual. In our manuals, we have we have a little box to read, okay? So let's read it. A ver, I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer who wants to participate reading, who wants to read this box. A ver, ¿quién quiere participar leyendo esta, este cuadrito? Me, teacher. Okay, Nestor, go ahead. Uh... And they said, figure it out. No, no, here. Number four. Oh, cual, uh, es, el cuadrito, comma. el cuadro. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Commands are direct instructions or order to do something. Okay, Use thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Plus the command. Okay. To sound more polite, e.g., please place an order for more boxes. Call okay. the supervisors. Good. Now, this EG is for example. Okay, cuando veamos sí, eje, yes. okay, this, lo leemos en vez de EG, decimos to sound more polite, for example. Yeah? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Now we see the example. Please place an order for more boxes. Este es un command. Miren, esto es una orden. Please place an order to, uh, for more boxes. Another, call the supervisor, please. Call the supervisor, please. Okay. Bien. Please, we can be at the beginner and at the end. Correct. Correct. It could go at the beginning or it could go at the end of the imperative action or an imperative sentence. Los imperativos okay. no tienen un sujeto. Yeah. Es el verbo y la acción, ¿verdad? El complemento. So let's see here. If you see, we're going to read this other box. How to use commands to order or tell someone to do something. Okay. Roxana. Please. Okay. Read these examples. 
write a check, send a memo, check the report, supervise the employees, and go to meetings. Excellent. Solo que si, aquí es una, una reunión, ¿verdad? No en plural. Go to go a to meeting. meeting. Ok. Correct. Go to a meeting. Ahora, Mayra. Dice la Ajá. ¿Qué pasó, Néstor? La, pronun la pronunciación de empleado es employees o employees. Fíjese que es employee, pero cuando uno está hablando, de acuerdo a su entonación, a veces se escucha como que se dijera employee, ¿ok? Y no afecta. Okay. No afecta. Realmente de las dos maneras se entiende. Pero sí es okay. employee, 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 ¿ok? Employee. So, ahora, Mayra, please, read these examples, pero usted me le va a agregar please a todos al principio, ¿ok? Yeah. So, go okay. ahead. Please, uh, write a check. Please, and send a memo. Please, check the report. Please, supervise the employers. Please go to maybe may esa palabra me cuesta meeting uh, may, may, meeting may. Uh -huh. please go go to a meeting go to a meeting go go to, to a meeting I mean go to a meeting yes. eh, tengo una duda con la segunda no sé si la pronuncié bien la palabra memo yes mm, it memo. is correct memo es mm -hmm. igual como it's se, a, ah. yes it's the same It is the same, yeah. La otra eh, eh, palabra que, que la siento difícil es employers. Eh, no employees, employees. Employees. Ah. Mm -hmm. Gracias, employees. teacher. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Now let's hear Cecia. Now what I, what, what I need you to show us is adding the word please at the end, okay? for all the examples. Okay, Cecia? Yeah, re repeat, repeat, please. please. Yes. Add the word please at the end. Okay. okay. At okay. the end of each example. Okay. Write a check, please. Send a memo, please. Check the report, please. Supervise the employees, please go to a meeting, please. Okay, excellent. You see, we can use it at the beginning of the command, or you can use please at the end of the command, okay? Ahora quiero que piensen ustedes, or let's think, everybody please think about three commands, ahorita solo tres, Three commands que este día les dijeron en su trabajo. Ok, puede ser un compañero le pidió a usted que hiciera algo. Maybe your boss, su jefe le pidió que hiciera algo. Maybe usted le pidió que hiciera algo a alguien. Ok, so I need those examples. Three, think about three now. Okay.
Okay. Now, um, before of um, asking you about those imperatives, I want to ask you these two questions. How often do you re receive instructions? How often do you receive instructions in your job? Mm -hmm. We have to answer that question. To yes, that, yes. Este es solo those, para que platiquemos those, antes. Those, those questions. Yes. Pero ahorita yo se las pregunto y ustedes me dicen así, solo platicando. How often do you receive instructions in your job? Uh, I, uh, it, I seldom, I seldom receive instructions. I sometimes receive instruction in my job. Okay. I'm going to ask, how often do you give instructions? Um, I, 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 I usually, mm -hmm. I usually give instructions, teacher, because uh, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm like a boss. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have authority there. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Mayra, how often do you give instructions? In your job. Es la primera, ¿verdad? How often do you No, ya estamos en la segunda. How often do you give instructions? ¿Qué tan a menudo usted da instrucciones? I never. Okay. Nunca. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pero cuando está platicando, no, mira, es que vos debes hacer esto y esto y así esto. Como, así como Néstor, eh, que le tengo que decir que aquí son vidas. Usualmente, solo en clases de inglés, ¿cómo se dice? Ok. Si le pongo please, eh, apague sus sonidos, siempre le pongo en chat. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad, okay. Néstor? <laughs> Okay, okay. So now, what commands or instructions did you receive today? Okay, I'm going to erase this. A ver. Y vamos a escribir las que ustedes me digan. Okay, now. Vamos por nombres o me dicen así, yo, yo, teacher, yo, no, es que este no me deja hablar, no, es que esta no me deja hablar, no, no. Todos, por favor, tranquilos, tomen su turno. Ajá, Néstor, go ahead. Uh, we have to, to, to tell the three examples. Yes, please. Okay, okay. My boss told me in the morning that I called to my co-worker to sign five checks. Okay, and sign. And after that, my co-worker asked me, uh -huh. asked me to help to make a, a small Wait, and wait, small wait, wait, wait. Nestor, you are going too fast. You are going too fast. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 We are still with the activities or the commands. So let's think about the verb and they um the action right so for example you say at the beginning sign checks or sign up checks is that the activity okay, okay. 
Uh huh. Can my you boss, repeat the first? Uh huh. My boss told me that I called to my to my coworker to sign to sign five checks. Okay, to sign up. So you went to your coworker to ask him to sign up the checks. Yes, I okay. call I call him to. Okay, then you request, uh huh, request uh, they to sign up the check. Okay, five checks, you said. Five checks. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what your boss told you. And okay, request they to sign up to yes, uh, five yes. checks. Okay, there you are. Okay, number two. And my coworker asked me uh, to help to make a little little design on computer on the computer. Help to make a, this uh, digital design is okay, or a virtual yes. design. Oh, you in say a design in the computer. Okay, yeah, yeah, you told that. Yeah. Design, uh, uh, no, no. make a design in the computer. Okay, and the next one. Okay, my friend, mm -hmm. I won't, no, no, no. Oh, this is, it, it is a coworker. And also, he, well, my he's my friend outside of my job, but he, but he's I, your coworker I, too. Okay. He's my coworker. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, he asked me that help him to check uh, the employees. Okay. Check the employees. Okay. There you are. In this case, it's check or supervise, okay? Supervise is a very okay, good yeah. word. Okay, yeah. So, but it's, it's the same, right? Excuse me? Is that the same? It, it is, uh, it's, it is it's, it's like uh, same to say uh, supervise or check. Yes, you can use check or supervise. Yes, check is like um, give an eye, right? Or take an eye, right? Okay. In that case, oversee is another word. Supervise is another word that work better with employees. Okay. 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 So, there we okay. are. Cut out my example. Ok, great, Néstor. Y bien compuestos, ok? Bien compuestos. Thank you very much for your effort here. Y ahora les vamos a explicar, compañeros, el verbo es at the beginning. Do you see? Request, help, supervise, ok? Ven, el verbo va al inicio en este caso. You see? They are uh, commands. Right, they are commands and instructions. So now I want to hear you guys. I want to hear, for example, Patricia. Patricia, can you give me your examples of activities uh, or commands that you received today in your job? Yes, please sign the report. Okay. I'm going to write, well, we have please here but I'm going to write it down over here. Teacher generally is time, sign report, time check, check is sign. Okay. Uh, for, for example, requisition material, requisition reactive. Requisition, okay. Requisition, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Uh, please attend the meeting with general manager. Okay, wait one second. I want to get into this thing. Oh, oh, please Here. revise. 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 Es una buena palabra. Okay. Revise. Ah. También check. Okay. Evaluate. 
Ahí ya lo que usted va a hacer en específico, pero revise is correct. Like this. Uh -huh. Revise. GFMF and confidential uh, document. AMF. Like this. Es fórmula maestra de fabricación. <laughs> okay. FMF. Okay. F M Protocol A and FF, like this. Yes. Protocol and documents, confidential documents. Documents. It's my life. Okay. My life. Yeah, this my is life. what I see. Oh my God. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, this is new for us, guys. So take note. This is very important. New words, okay? So, yes. And let's hear, let's hear Cecia. Cecia, can okay. you please tell us three instructions or commands that you received today in your job? Okay. Um, send your report for email, please. Send your report by email. Okay. Please. Okay. Bien, lo voy a dejar. El please lo tenemos acá. And let's remember, it could go okay. at the beginning or at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's okay. continue. Let's continue. Next one. Uh, give me a five. Like this. Give me agenda for the next week. Okay, give me the agenda. Uh, ahí le vamos a poner, uh, okay, lo vamos a hacer así como usted me lo dice. Give me, puse. Give, I'm sorry. Give me the agenda for the next week. Okay, good. This is very interesting. Okay, continue, continue. Let's see. There we have three. Now let's hear who wants to participate. It will be the last one. Quien quiere participar para hacer el último aquí en esta actividad? Hay muchos me están levantando la mano. Yo me, me aflijo que demasiados me levantan la mano. Yo no, ay. Me vale elegirle. Sí, sí, y no quiero quedar mal con ninguno. <laughs> ok, go ahead. Let's see. Daisy, you said, right? Did you say? Ok. Change the report, please. Change. Change the report. Ok. Mm -hmm. um, please reply the email. Uh, reply. reply, reply the email. Okay. The email. Good. Mm -hmm. And pay attention, please. Okay. Pay attention. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, guys. So here we have some activities that you do daily, right? And you receive an instruction to do, okay, these activities. But now we want to think about some activities that you think that you will be given tomorrow, okay? They probablemente les digan mañana, lo que ustedes esperan que mañana les dan esa orden, okay? So, what do you think, miren esta pregunta, esta pregunta es una eh, pregunta un poco compleja, pero es la manera de decir que cuando yo quiero que tú, yo quiero que ella, o por ejemplo, eh, Patricia quiere que yo haga, ¿verdad? O Daisy quiere que Patricia haga. ¿Ok? Ven que es un poco complejo también en español. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ya ahí ya vamos componiendo. Pero esta es una expresión, así como está, 
Es la manera de decirlo siempre, ¿ok? Lo único que cambiamos pues son los pronombres y las personas, ¿verdad? O los sujetos. Veamos, dice, What do you think your classmate's boss, el jefe de su compañero o de su, sí, de su compañero de clase, wants him or her, ¿verdad? Quiere que él, quiere que ella, to do tomorrow, haga mañana. La voy a leer de corrido. What do you think your classmate's boss wants him or her to do tomorrow? Ok. Vamos a ver. Vamos a leer esta pregunta. Vamos a tomarnos un, un minutillo para que la lean todos. Es un poco complicadita la pregunta, pero quiero escucharlos. Vamos a ver. Patricia, please read the question. What do you do? What? Do you think, what do you think your classmate was, was him, her, do you tomorrow? Thank you very much. Nestor, please. Please open your mic. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, what do you think your classmate's boss wants him or her? To do tomorrow. Excellent. Daisy? What do you think your classmate boss wants him or her to do tomorrow? Thank you. Cecia, please. What do you think your classmate boss wants him or her to do tomorrow? Thank you. Mayra, please. <coughs> Read the question. What do you think your classmates but uh, one thing uh, what hell do do tomorrow? Okay, thank you. Now let's see Alba, please read the question. What do you think your classmates both want him her to do tomorrow? Excellent. Marco, please. What do you do think your classmates boss want him her to do tomorrow? Okay, thank you very much. Roxana, please. What do you think your classmate boss want him or her to do tomorrow? Okay, good. So now, do you see, I don't know if David was there. Okay, yeah. Okay, people, so this is a question to think, okay? Esta es una pregunta para pensar. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Por ejemplo, ya oyeron las actividades que les pidieron hoy, ¿verdad? Sus compañeros, ¿pusieron atención? Did you pay attention? Okay, what do you think that their boss or their, yeah, their boss is going to ask them to do tomorrow? Okay, for example, Alba, what do you think um, Daisy's boss wants her to do tomorrow? A ver, ¿qué cree usted? que el jefe de Daisy le va a pedir a ella hacer mañana. Inventemos, ok. Ajá, go ahead. Supervise employees, creo que es. Ok, supervise the employees. Employees. Excellent, thank you Alba. Marco, what do you think? Alba's boss wants her to do tomorrow. Uh, prepare reports. Okay. Prepare. Prepare reports. Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, what about... Um, 
Marcus Boss, what do you think, guys? Everybody, let's think about an activity. What about Marcus Boss wants him to do tomorrow? A ver. Prefer a meeting. Uh, I couldn't hear you. Barely, I could barely hear. Prefer a meeting. Okay. Podría ser organize. Organize a meeting. Okay. Organize a meeting. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. What do you think? Cynthia's boss wants her to do tomorrow. Call clients. Okay. Great. A ver, ahora pensemos en Nestor bosses. Okay, I'm sorry, Nestor's boss. Okay. <clears throat> What do you think? Tell me, guys. Receive reports. Okay, receive reports. Okay, I'm sorry. Re. Esta? Receive? Esa era yes. la palabra? Okay. Yes. Receive reports. Okay. And what do you think Patricia's boss wants her to do tomorrow? Supervise personal. Okay, that's what she thinks. Okay, uh, supervise the personnel. Okay, personnel, personnel. Okay, the pronunciation is at the end. Uh -huh. The strong voice, personnel, okay? Personnel. Si decimos personal, es algo de la persona, ¿verdad? Pero personal es la gente que trabaja allá en la compañía, okay? So, yes, guys, this is um, the is topic the imperatives. I'm sorry? What is the pronunciation of person? Ah, personnel, personnel. There's a now. Yeah, now. Now. Yes, now. Now, personnel. Yes, una okay. E abierta, ¿verdad? Personnel. Sí, casi que suena como personal de personal, ¿verdad? Pero es mm -hmm. personnel. Yeah. Correct. Personnel, 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 everybody, personnel, personnel, and then sing personnel, personnel for you to remember the word, okay? Así es una buena, buena estrategia. Yo eh, le pongo un ritmo, okay, y se me va quedando. Por donde va el, la strong voice, okay? Personnel, 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 personnel. So, okay. does anybody have a question about the imperatives? No. Ok, ahorita hemos visto nada más positivos, ¿verdad? O afirmativos. Pero recuerden que cuando vimos el primer slide y les hablé de lo que son los imperativos, recuerdan que habían prohibitions, ¿sí? Prohibiciones. Habían otras órdenes también que se dicen de una manera negativa. A ver, una que se les ocurra ahorita diciendo don't. Don't smoke. Great. Excellent. Okay. That's an imperative. Don't smoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't, Don't fight. cry. Don't fight. Don't fight. Good. Mm -hmm. So you see, we add just do not. Okay. Do not. No le ponemos doesn't. Ahí no entra en los imperativos. En los imperativos es con don't. Okay. Porque... Eh, prácticamente sería you don't, ¿ok? Queda implícito que usted, ¿verdad? Que tú, ¿ya? Yeah? O oh, ellos, right? So, let me 
we go here because I forgot who is on the list. I said Eva, verdad? Eva Leticia, I can't find her here. Eva Leticia no se conectó, entonces ahora está ese espacio available. That space available for questions. Does anyone wants to stay with me after the class 10 minutes right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien quiere quedarse los 10 minutos? Acuérdense que solo es para uno. No, no, solo uno. Yeah. Por favor, already, por favor. I already did it, teacher. Ya lo hizo, sí. Uh, pero si usted quiere, puede quedarse porque nadie va a quedarse, ¿no? ¿O cómo no? A ver, levanten la mano, no sean así. <laughs> no, it's okay, I know. Si todo está entendido, si todo está claro, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Lo que no quiero es que se queden con una duda o con una I'm opinión wrong. que le quieran dar a la teacher, ¿verdad? O sea, o algún comentario, alguna I'm cuestión, ¿verdad? I'm a starving teacher. ¿Ah? I'm a starving Are you? Oh, okay, but yeah, it's only 10 minutes. Bueno, lastimosamente tengo que tomar por tercera vez la, la lista de asistencia y nos vamos a retirar, okay? Vamos a ver. Lastimosamente digo yo, ¿verdad? No, it's okay. Alba y Anet López Ábalos. Present. Okay. Cecia Gemima Pérez y Deos. Present. Okay. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Debbie, 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 oh, okay. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present okay. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Yes, Grecia. Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta, Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina, ah, sí, vi por ahí a Linda, ¿verdad? Ok. Está con el problema del audio ella, sí. Ok, Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Ok. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present. Ok. Mélida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Ok. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, there we are. Ok, then. Acuérdense que hay que dejar subida la tarea del día de hoy. Porque ya es viernes, ¿verdad? So, everybody please have a good weekend and a good rest and let us meet on monday so bye 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 teacher good night good night good night everybody bye bye linda